Evening, I'm Heather Armstrong. And I'm Dustin Lukey. Tonight in Alma, the lock along the Mississippi is dry, an unusual occurrence on a waterway significant for U.S. trade. News 19's Riley Kine went to Lock and Dam 4 to find out what's being done. The Lock and Dam has been dewatered for important maintenance done only once every 20 years. Lock and Dam 4 was built in the late 1930s. It is part of the St. Paul District, which includes 13 locks and dams from Minneapolis to Iowa. The last time Lock and Dam 4 was dewatered was in 2001, which means it is time for some repairs. The maintenance process begins with a three day dewatering of the lock chamber in order to be able to get inside. So basically what that entails is we place bulkheads on the upstream side and the downstream side to block the flow of water into the chamber. Um, and then we pump it down. After it is dewatered, it is time for repairs. Over time, we get uh, turbo damage on the lock walls where they rub and we get the freeze thaw effect, so we do a lot of concrete work. We blast and paint our miter gates, give them a fresh coat of paint. We replace the bubbler system that prevents ice from getting into the, the lock chamber in the gate recess. Chief of Maintenance Repairs Section Chris Stye says the cold weather climate actually helps them out. We're very fortunate in St. Paul District that our locks close the navigation due to the river freezing in, and it gives us a perfect opportunity to water the chambers and do the maintenance. But by doing so, we eliminate a lot of downtime in the summertime during navigation so we can keep the industry moving and, and all the commodities flowing. Lock and Dam Chief Jim Rand says keeping business running as usual is crucial. The Mississippi River is kind of like a third coastline to the United States. This lock specifically passes on average about 10 million tons of commodities uh, through. So it's very important and very vital to the benefit of the nation to keep these um, operating. As, as much as we can 24 7 when we have the time. The entire project costs around four million dollars and they have around 50 crew members. The maintenance will be complete by March 9th in order to be up and running after the river thaws. And as you heard the lock and dam passes 10 million tons of commodities through it so as soon as it opens up it'll be very busy again. Well,